YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and I'm back with another D stash. I might do two D stash boxes in this video. We shall see. Okay, uh, let's see. USA only, PayPal only. These are uh, as is purchases. Do check out my description box for additional terms and conditions. This box will ship flat rate in a large priority mailbox and I'm um, once again PayPal only and please pay with friends and family there's a couple other things but it escapes me right now so once again do check out my description area for terms and conditions oh if you're interested do email me at Bible scraps at yahoo.com I'm asking that you pay promptly and let's get started okay the first item in this box is, and I need to put my glasses on, the Travel Stamp Platform by Tim Holtz. I've never used this one. I do have one for myself. I purchased extra items for class members. I was teaching a class and so I'm no longer teaching that class, and so I don't need my extra accessories. Okay, so this is the the small size travel platform, and I'm not even sure if these are still available now, but it's brand spanking new. I've never opened this before. And then, okay, you will get a used Martha Stewart glue gun. It works. And it does come with this little silicone mat here. And then a Martha Stewart large circle cutter. And it has the tool with three different blades. And then, okay, I love this tool here, but I have two of these. Okay, so this is the bow it all. It's the version two. And it comes with everything everything that i got with this particular tool is available in this little cute pouch except for the little pair of scissors but everything else including the manual here and some product illustration sheets okay so i've had this particular tool for several years and i've done a couple tutorial videos um, two, three years ago, and I love it. You can create bowls in different sizes. I'm not going to grab it. Okay, some of you who have followed me for several years, you probably saw a video. I think I titled that video, A Hundred Handmade Bowls. Well, in that video, I shared a hundred handmade bowls that I um, created with this tool here. I love this tool. I think it's the best bowl making tool out there if you love to create bowls and in different sizes and you pretty much get the complete kit except I cannot find those scissors okay so this lot is $40 once again do check out my description box for my terms and conditions and this next box it's also the same size as the first D stash lot. And this one is more geared towards the junk journaler, but you don't have to be a junk journaler to appreciate the content. Let me show you. Okay, here. So this is all about the wedding and after the wedding comes the baby, right? Okay, so if you love precious moments, well, you might want to consider to get this box here because I have a 1998 Hallmark Precious Moments album here and I to my knowledge I can't say for sure though I mean everything appears to be intact but I I can't say that for sure which is why this is an as is purchase but everything looks to be in very good condition now, here's the thing about using these albums. You can use them as is, right? And this is a wedding album. Dreams come true when shared by two. Don't we all love precious moments? 
Now, here's the thing. You could use the album as is, or if you like, you can do what I like to do, and it's to remove the covers, and I cut off the actual book part. And if you want to, you can turn that into a hard bound book. So that's what I like to do with some of my three ring binders. But anyway, let's see if I could flip through some of the pages. So though this is from 1996, you can customize it to work for now. Power, power, party and shower gifts here. If you wanted to, I mean, you could use the pages as paper, right? But this would be nice to present to a bride along with precious moments figurines if you have those. And then towards the back, and there's a lot of pages here. And I love the images. The precious moments images they make me happy they make me smile and couldn't we use a lot of that right now right there are some some clear sheets back here and then some blank paper okay so you have the wedding album this is just so fun if you wanted to you can add you can punch holes in a special type of paper fill this up and make this into a junk journal wedding album okay and then now i don't know what happened to the contents here but i've included this binder because the image is so darling and if you create books you can alter this and turn this into once again a book so i've included and this is also 1998 i don't know what i don't even know if i no, I had to have had the inside. If I happen to come across the contents, I'll include it, but I doubt it because it's a mess in my junk room. So I just included this one just because this is so cute. If you wanted to, you could cut out that, right? And use that. You could make this into a wall hanging if you wanted to. All right, but here's the baby album. If you love Disney, and I know a lot of you do, right? Look, baby's first five years. And the font here looks like it has age to it. However, I don't know if I was able to find, and I'm probably overlooking it, a date here. Um, but it's by Hallmark. And take a look at, just look at the Disney designs, the characters. They're so stinking cute. Look at it. It's so vibrant. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And once again, though... I do believe this has some age to it. You know, it might be around, it might be the 90s too. I got these at different times, at different places. But you can you can use this. This is current, right? Hey, you might have a child that's an adult now. Who's to say you can't go back and recreate your child's album? I think about doing that now. How I wish, though I did start a album for... I know my son. He's my eldest. I don't know what happened to it. And it's one of my greatest regrets, not having a baby album for my children. As a matter of fact, you guys, I kid you not. Let me show you guys something. This has nothing to do with this d -stash lot. But let me tell you. Okay, I don't know why I started thinking about this last week. Oh, I know why. So I'm, I have already made, and I will make more hand sanitizing wipes and I have been out whenever I'm out at the store of course wipes can be hard to find right but I was looking for um the wipes that comes in the reusable they are container. most hard to find though the other day I did find a couple at Walmart but I say all that to say um anyway I started thinking how I wish I kept my children's wipes container when they were a baby. How I wish I would have kept it, right? That would mean so much to me. And so now I'm looking for a Huggies or whatever brand was popular back then, Pampers. I'm looking for a wipes dispenser 
the year that my kids were born, right? It means so much to me. But what I wanted to show you was this. I picked it up and set it back down. Okay, so I got this from Walmart. <laughs> it was empty. It was on the counter. I used it to carry some things in it, and I brought it home. How I wish I had something like this, whoops, back from 1988 and then 1993 it would mean so much to me but i'm on the lookout for one perhaps i'll find one i say all that to say i wish i had a baby album for my children if you are a grandparent a godparent you can fill this out keep it for a year fill it out and give it to the mom or the dad or you could just keep it keep it yourself and when the child gets older wouldn't this be a beautiful birthday gift or a graduation gift see we have to start thinking ahead like that though i know we don't know what can happen today tomorrow and i like to always say say if it's the lord's will right if it be his will we'll do this we'll do that i spoke to my son who lives in germany yesterday and he was sharing good news thank you jesus he's getting a promotion and um it came like out of nowhere he was not expecting this at this time and we were talking and he said if the lord says the same i was like that's right if the lord says the same because we don't know people we're living in uncertain times right we don't know what's going to happen the next minute Okay, and then I threw in some other things. Here is a baby's first moments calendar. Now, the date is on this one, 1996. If it was 93 or 88, I would have kept this one. But, you know what? This is the kind of calendar, and it hasn't been used. To my knowledge, these items have not been used, but I have not flipped through every single page, so I cannot say for sure, which is why this is an as-is purchase but look you can custom you can use this today just write in the dates you could use if you are into altering books and creating books and journals these um pictures you could use them as scrapbooking paper and make pockets and envelopes look at that pretty baby look at that i would love if i was an expectant parent because I'm so into vintage stuff now, I prefer to have something old versus something new. It means, oh, look at this cute one. It means more to me if it's lived a little bit. That's a cute one. Look at that dog. The dog has the bottle in the mouth feeding the baby. This is so stinking cute. And then all the images are here so cute and these are vintage inspired images too okay and then i included this baby name book just because i think there's a year 2008 i don't know why but if you you could turn you could use it as paper or if mom to be is having a baby shower well this is the baby name game right okay and then i'm also throwing in this here the parents to be calendar wait a minute let me see does this one go i'll be back because i'm not sure if this one goes with this okay box. i had to back up for a second because i got like several boxes surrounding me um i'm not sure if that one goes with this particular kit but because i have the precious moments albums i've included two vintage Precious Moments Insight, Insights books. And I I love Precious Moments because they're faith-based too. But you could use the images in the pages, or you could use the images on these pages as ephemera. So here's one book. This looks like it's Christmas with the holly, but then you have this one here, Telling the Truth No Matter What. From 1994 and you could cut out these images and use them as stickers you can collage with them 
I don't know, you might have some of these designs. Feed my sheep. Look at these cute designs. And the company, it's still in operation. Okay, so these two comes with this. And I guess well. this one comes with this box after all. So this is, let's see, Baby's First Moments. But this one is the parents-to-be. So it's a record of the mom-to-be. And I don't know if there's a date here. It looks like it has some age to it. And, well, the pages don't, at least the pages that I flipped through, don't appear to be used. I hope, I hope it's not a shadow here. Mother's weight chart. Oh, do you even want to track that? <laughs> but, um, yeah, you could write in the month and write in the date. This would actually make nice scrapbooking paper this has a nice heavyweight feel to it and all of these pages look but look the same oh this is look back here 82 through 1986 oh oh this is i'm oh. gonna do it for the two lots for this video oh and by the way this is longer than my box, so it's going to bend. It's going to curl a little bit in the box, but it should be okay. I think it's going to do just fine. So if you are interested in either one of these lots, do email me at biblescraps at yahoo.com, and I will forward my PayPal information. Once again, friends and family, this both lots are $40 flat rate shipped. It will ship tomorrow. Um, and do check my description area for additional terms and conditions. All right, you guys. I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.